this! Look out! Today's video sponsor is GVG More! Bringing you all the software deals you need, like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2021 with a new Windows 11 design, and even Windows Server 2022. For all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 25% off, getting a Windows 10 serial key for only $16. Then use the key on your Windows settings, and you'll have an activated system. More than two years after the last driver that AMD released for hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, in this case the 20.5.1 beta for the RX 5700 XT, AMD has released this month the 23.12.1 drivers that brings AG support for the RX 7000 series apart from the little 7600. Somehow, I don't really know why. And I even made a video comparing AGS on versus off with the RX 7900 XTX and RX 7700 XT that you can see by clicking in the link on the top right corner and as usual AMD users just had to complain. I mean, AMD just introduced a feature that they are obviously still working on because it's the first driver with this feature and they bring it now most likely because of FSR 3 and its frame generation technique to run better and yet people are still complaining that they wanted hacks for their RX 6000 and 5000 series. And what makes this kind of laughable is that over 95% of, of people, I'm, I'm just, just taking, taking the numbers, numbers out of my ass, ass of course, course, but I believe that over 95% of people won't see a single difference from using AGS on or off, and especially on the older generation cards, because AMD cards already do lots of the of the scheduling hardware side of, and like for example the Nvidia ones, uh, that tend to send a lot more work for the CPU. And don't get me wrong, because I do understand your point. I do. But AMD already brought FSR 3, FSR 3 frame generation, and even AMD fluid motion frames for the RX 6000 series, but you absolutely need AGS. So once again, the Amer Nimi Moda drivers now rating ID drivers can make that happen. But how exactly, you ask? Let me just show you one interesting thing before. This is the FlexiSpot E7 Pro. We're talking about a premium desk that lets you choose its height, basically working as a normal or a standing desk in case you want to stretch your legs for a bit, let's say. To control the height of the desk, you have a display that shows your current height, counting from the floor, obviously, which includes preset buttons and the USB Type-A for charging. It also brings the cable organizer to keep most of your cables away from the floor and the branded rigid magnet cover that serves the purpose of hiding the remaining cables from your high side such as the ones coming from the electric motor that allows you to lower or raise the desk. And of course, you can customize the desk depending on your taste and needs, which is always a plus. Overall, the FlexiSpot E7 Pro is an outstanding product in terms of quality and usability. If you're interested, check the link in the description. So with the former Amer Nimi drivers, now called Raiden ID drivers, you can indeed enable hacks, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling on your RX 6000 series GPU. All you have to do is clean install your previous drivers with EDU or AMD cleanup utility. You can use this video passing right now to guide you through it if you don't really know how to do it. Then go to Google, search for Amer Nimi Moda drivers, Go to their website, download the PVN 23.12.1 once and its UI as well, extract the downloaded file, install the drivers via auto install and the first step is done. And while this might seem overwhelming for the most basic users, don't worry because this is not as near as hard as it looks. It is actually pretty simple. And after installing the drivers, you go to the folder once again and open the setup CLI executable. Then you press 8 to go to the kernel toolbox slash parameter management, then press P to go to the next page, and then you press 25 to pick the GPU hardware scheduling service mode option. You can then pick auto, disable, enable, extended, and some more options. I do advise you to start with the enable one first, and then try the other options in case it doesn't work for you. After picking the option you want, you just reboot your computer and the option should appear in the usual menu. Still, be aware that even though it lets you enable AGS, well, I still found some issues. Firstly, it does not work 100% for all GPUs. I tried, for example, the RX 6750 XT, and while it would enable me to enable the option, the AGS option, on the Windows menu, in this case the graphics, the graphics sub-tab, 
I could enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, but it would crash as soon as I entered the game. Any game that I tested, it would crash. Then I tried, for example, the RX 7600 non-XT, of course, the XT will come uh, in a month or so. I tried it because this is the only car that does not support officially AGS on the official drivers, of course. Um, I still tried every option and the option of the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling wouldn't even appear on Windows, unlike on the previous generation. Then I went and tried the RX 6950 XT, once again tried the several options, um, for example the enabled, the, the extended, the extended with the hardware CLI, doesn't really matter, I don't really remember, but I tried several options and it did work. The only thing that I found there was that the recording with the MD Relief would mess things up and drivers would crash so I actually had to use my camera to record the gameplay instead. And as you can see it works fine with Assassin's Creed Mirage, the same applies for Lies of P, of course that works perfectly fine even at 4K with AGS enabled. Although you might still have a bug here and there and sometimes with the drivers kind of crashing, making your frame times look and feel like crap, but well, as stated, this is mostly for testing purposes. So just to conclude, does AGS work flawlessly on the official drivers with the 23.12.1 drivers on the 7000 series once again, officially no, because once again it's the first driver that brings AGS and they still have a lot, lot, lots of things to actually fix and make better. Do the modded drivers run hacks flawlessly on the RX 6000 series? Obviously, no. But it can work and if you're one of those people definitely trying to test the feature to see what they can get, you should definitely give this a try because the most it can happen is you doing a clean installation and going back to the official drivers. So in my opinion, definitely worth a try. And well guys, that's all for today's video, thank you for watching, happy new year to every single one of you, and as always, leave your comment in the comment section, let me know if you tried or not these drivers, if hacks actually worked well for you or not, in which card, in which setup, because me and us, the community, really want to know uh, if these are working for you or not. I could have tested this, I tried testing it firstly at side by side, with side by side comparisons, but like I told you, uh, the recording feature wasn't working properly, then I tried testing uh, with charts and so on, but I thought, because if this officially doesn't really matter much for the 7000 series, and we're talking once again officially, uh, apart from VR, of course, VR and emulation, where the 7000 series are were poorly working, then the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling does work, but since the RDNA 2 cards and the RDNA 1s didn't really have this issue, I don't believe that AGS would make any difference. So once again, I didn't do the test because I felt like they weren't needed. And this feature once again is mostly for people wanting to try things out to see if they can get something out of this, because overall most people shouldn't even bother. But if you have some issues and you have for example older cards like the RX 580, 570, 480 and so on, even the Vega cards or the 5000 or the 5000 series cards, sorry, uh, you might want to try this, these drivers as well because they bring, for example, smart access memory for the RX 5000 series. I mean, for the RX 500 series and 400 series with 8 gigabytes, the cards with 8 gigabytes, it brings smart access memory for the Vega cards as well, and that's actually a big plus. It brings several other options that you can that you can try on, for example, even on the 5000 series, like the DX11 up optimizations and so on, so it's a win-win for people using older generation cards, but if you have a 6000 or 7000 series, I really wouldn't bother unless once again you want to try the, um, you want to try the, this option, you want to try hardware accelerated GPU scheduling on your, on your GPU and see if it works or not and if it is actually worth it or not. And yeah, overall that's basically it. Thank you very much for watching once again, Happy New Year and see you in the next video guys. Cheers.